At this juncture, I would like also to make an official launch of the FIFA logo for this competition. Wow. Um, a few months ago, when uh, as a physician I realized that SARS was going to create a problem for the Women's World Cup in Japan, I, I, in, in uh, China, I never thought that uh, it would put uh, us into this whirlwind that we've been going through for the last uh, months. We're going to show the world what we have done with soccer facilities. I'm very confident that, that it is in place. I think some of the bigger challenges will be things like visas. We need, we need uh, our people here in Washington helping us on that. Um, and um, so, no, I, I'm very confident that, that, that we will do it. Our people have stepped up. You know, we have an incredibly large volunteer base with all of our youth soccer people and our grassroots people. And um, there are people here in the audience who are just anxious to go out and, and turn out for these games. Um, I'm, I'm confident we'll do very, very well. And uh, I mean, I can tell you, I'm confident in my personal opinion that the U.S. soccer or the United States of America already organized two World Cup. One is for men and the other one for women. So I'm sure that definitely will be uh, approved and uh, will be uh, successful once again uh, the women World Cup. A good man. All right. We feel bad for China and for um, the, their disappointment, and we certainly commiserate with them. Uh, on the other hand, they're going to get a chance to do it in 2007, which we were hopefully going to be doing, so we just sort of flipped.